outside of Ann Arbor. The plane that was to carry Michigan ran off the runway while attempting to take off in very high winds. You can feel the plane gaining speed. You run out of runway, cross a road, and then you run into a fence, and then we go into a gully. You would never know if they weren't in their practice uniforms that they had just gone through such an experience as they did yesterday. It's a heck of a story for the University of Michigan Wolverines. As scary a situation as you can have, and they end up hoisting a trophy. Michigan Wolverines are the Big Ten Tournament Champions. It was a very surreal and something that you never think you would have to, would have to experience type of situation. Um, and I mean, you don't even think that something like this can happen to you ever. And then all of a sudden you're in it like, like in, you don't have the time to like recognize what's going on, you know? So it, it, it happens so fast. Um, and I never thought that that would happen to me in my life or anyone that I know. And all of a sudden we all in it together. And what, what I, what stuck out to me, what I remember is how, how meaningless basketball was in that situation. Like basketball didn't matter at all. Like my head was so messed up with all the other stuff um, that, that basketball was so, yeah, irrelevant in that moment. The day we had to fly, we couldn't even practice because the lights went out all over Ann Arbor. We had to, we started practice and we moved into the, or to our practice court and practiced by a window for about 15 minutes because we couldn't get any light. It was probably the best thing that happened to us. So we didn't overcoach and these guys could just play. Looking at this plane and it's much more damaged than I thought it was. They're showing the spots of it. You remember how we got away from it so quick because <laughs> the engine was still running and the gas fumes were right in our faces. But I, I, I didn't see all the dents and everything. We never came back and took a closer look. Derek, you got injured in it. You were the only one injured in it. What happened? It was, I remember um, it happened all in slow motion. It was, it was so wild. I still remember when we actually crashed, my laptop flying. Um, it like slammed closed. I remember I was sitting right next to Ibby. Ibby like flew. I tried to like keep him in down. And then like on the way out, I remember Mark throwing the dough and like hitting my leg. It was, it was nuts. That was, that, that, it, like the way we got out so fast, it seemed like, it was fake because it was so many people on that plane. Like now that I look how big that plane, I remember how many people was on that plane. It was so many people on that plane. It, I knew it was real. Like you don't believe this is happening when it's happening. Like you don't think this is actually like, you don't recognize what's going on. And then I look around and I remember Muhammad, like who is one of the most like funniest guys I know. And I know really well, we live together. Like the fear in his eyes, in his face and I was like laughing haha this is hilarious because that was just my coping mechanism the fear in his eyes like I'm getting out of here I don't care who's in my way I'm running and I look back and the flight assistant like is crying and that's never a good sign because she's supposed to know <laughs> she still wants to know what's going on I said okay this is real Duncan let's let's make sure we get out of here <laughs> that was crazy yeah, man, that was nuts. That was Derek, how'd you get cut? You got cut. Yeah, on the way. Like, you, I think you're supposed to throw the door out, right? Mark threw it in. He threw it backwards behind him. Like, he got it, he opened it and threw it. And I seen it, I tried to jump over it, and it, like, cut my leg. Like, I, I, was, I was with somebody yesterday. I was with my mom a couple of days ago, and she looked at my leg. Like, I still got a scar from it. It's crazy. Wow. I, I remember going back that night, too, and trying to go back to my house. Because my suits and everything, I, I, packed for, I probably packed four suits for four games. But my suits are all under the plane, too. So I had to go back with a flashlight, try to match up suit and shoes and socks and because uh, all the, all the, everything was out of it. There was a lot going into get to, uh, to even going into that. Now, afterwards, we, uh, Greg Harden came and talked with you guys, and we went back to the Holiday Inn Select or something. We couldn't get rooms anywhere, and we ended up going there. We had a little meeting, and uh, – what, what do you guys recall about that, about the decision to play the next day, get on the plane and go again? Moise, you know I wasn't playing. I was, I was, that's what's so crazy about all of this because I, I was hell bent on not playing. Like I told everybody, I don't care what happened, I'm not playing. Like y'all can <laughs> leave me here. I drive. I'm not flying no more. Like, and I felt the same way. Like I was mad at like 
not a coach me directly, but I, like, the idea that I'm just going to go on a plane again tomorrow morning, like, no, I'm not. Like, I'm yeah. sorry, but I don't care about basketball right now. Look at Derek was like, I never seen Derek like that. <laughs> Mentally all messed up. And we were, I mean, people forget too, like, it wasn't like we crashed and then we drove back to the facility. It was a whole thing. We crashed and we sat on the run field for an hour and a half. Yeah. And we were at the airport for two hours. And then at the facility for another three hours, just trying to kind of recognize what's going on. And then Greg Harden came in. I just remember he was like, yeah, this is a crazy story, right? Think about how cool the story would be told if you had a ring to show. So I remember him telling us that. And that was for me, the, okay, I mean, I was going to try to win anyway, but now <laughs> even cooler, you know? Like, And for me, I wasn't like, coach, can we t just drive the bus? Like, it's, <laughs> I'll drive all night. I don't care as long as I don't have to get, step on another plane for the next couple couple weeks. But I remember coach saying, um, jump back on the horse or some mm -hmm. expression. Um, and... I mean, the next morning, it was like, I didn't sleep. I, I don't know how you're supposed to sleep that night. So um, we did it somehow. The, the Pistons were good enough to, to lend the mm -hmm. uh, Delta plane to us. Did that guys make you feel safer when you got on that plane? No. <laughs> No, no, really, no. I really no. didn't care. I really didn't care. I felt, a little, I felt safer just because it was so much bigger and everything. But uh, I remember being on the runway. It was windy. And I was talking to my mom. And I was like, Ma, I, like, if the last game I played was my last game ever, I'm perfectly fine with it. I'm not getting on this plane to go to D.C. It's not happening. It's not happening. So what changed? Everybody else. Everybody else just gave me this. Everybody, I just kind of, like, fed off everybody else. Like, everybody else was nervous. But I think essentially, like, everybody just wanted to, like, play. I think everything just calmed out. Like, once we landed in D.C., that's when I finally, like, was at ease. Like, I just – yeah. up until then, I was just – completely off basketball but I went you know I I got up early like at five or something because we were going to leave the bus was going to leave at six and, and I didn't I walked out to the bus and I didn't know if you guys should be there or not and everybody <laughs> was on the bus so let's go let's go <laughs> man, that, was man, that was crazy we had no we had no shoot around no team meeting we have so much film always and this time, no fast facts. No fast facts. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Just try to fall asleep and show up the next morning. That's all we got to figure yeah. out. <laughs> but wait, didn't we keep getting hit with obstacles? Remember, it was somewhere like they tried to make us play like immediately after land, and it wasn't possible. Like we had to push the game back or something like that. It was yeah. crazy. Like I have a, a lot of teammates, but like by far this team I was on is by far the closest teammates I have. Like by far, They're not even close. Yeah, I remember talking to DJ because we had, we won the Big Ten the year after that, too. And DJ called me – or, I mean, DJ and I are close friends, and he, he had left for the NBA, and he we had a conversation about, like, Mo, like, compare those two Big Ten championships for me because, like, for me that last year, that felt like we won the national championship to me. Like, it had just so much value for, for us, I don't know, to, to, to win – um to win those those games and there was no doubt either like i never was mentally clear as clear as i was that week that we were going to win or that there's only one option i it's really truly fascinating because you always think you have to prepare as much as you can and that's kind of our motto all year and then it's the exact opposite <laughs> Very interesting. I, I, we, I, I do remember we, we were delayed by traffic. We got there late. They delayed the game, I think, a half an hour. And then my, we put the lineup up there. There was no reminders. There was no inspirational speech. You guys, let's, let's, let's just go play. And we, we, those clips of this Illinois game are, are special, guys, because you just played. It was beautiful. In those practice uniforms. <laughs> it's, <laughs> this is by far the most fun I played, by far. Yeah, I, I think another thing we need to know is we played at Nebraska uh, in a night game on Sunday. And we got home like at about 2 or 3 in the morning Monday. And this is a Thursday game, correct? So it, mm -hmm. it was uh, like we took a day off. We, we had one practice. And then we had a no practice because of the, play, because of the weather. And now they just played. So I told uh, – I said before, since this that plane crash guy, Michigan – 
was 19 and four in winter. It has been 19 and four in winter go home games since this plane crash. 19 and four in winter go home. So it taught you guys a lot just about just relaxing and playing ball. I think I always had the most unique like approach to the game because I had I was like I feel like me and you are always on the same page because we never that was always our thing. I just feel like. For me, it was always trying to juggle all the personalities. But like each game, before each and every game, I always had to make sure I went up to DJ. I always wanted to make sure like DJ was mentally all right because I knew everybody else was perfectly fine. And I knew if DJ was completely locked in, I knew we was going to be perfectly fine every time. One thing I think everybody will see in this game, and I, I just watching it earlier, is Derek is one of the best rebounding guards that's ever played in college basketball. And you're going to see that over and over again, or just keeping balls alive, let alone all the assists. Coach, I blame D. Wall that I only averaged four rebounds. <laughs> you're, it, it's right. It's I mean, right. I was also I wasn't a good rebounder, but he definitely took two a game easy ones for me, where he just jumped higher than me, which is a little you know, embarrassing. <laughs> you know what I think about? I think me rebounding a lot more yo like the misses i think it kept you in school extra year i think if i did if you would have got two or three more rebounds you probably wouldn't stay to school that extra year. i just think that honestly. it's probably it's a, i mean it's probably a good point yeah. but I, I will also always also say and obviously coach and i had a had a lot of conversations about this like rebounding wasn't on my radar like i i didn't think that or i didn't even know that was a thing like and that sounds weird, but like I, I came over here thinking I just play the game and see what happens. And then it's kind of a new mentality that I had to develop that this is actually valuable to be a big guy and also needed to, to go somewhere, you know? So I'm happy that I had to go through that development. Big Z with that in between game in this turn, in this game, in all these games, Z was, Zach, Zach was incredible in this whole game. He's going left. Exactly. In all these games, his in-between game was great. Illinois was also a team that we knew so well. Hey, so we doubled. If you guys remember in this game, is that Morgan, yeah. we, we doubled from mm -hmm. underneath. Yeah. Early. Look at that. Look at that play. Now, Zach Irvin had about 10, 10 assists his freshman year, and now his senior year, he was tremendous. But uh, we, we doubled early. I think Derek came over and doubled. Or, and we doubled him from the back side. Mo played the high side. and Because remember, he'd given us trouble at Illinois. Yeah. Uh, and then he let us know about it, too. Yeah, he yeah. had a target on his back every time after that. After what he said, he had a target on his back for sure. Didn't put himself in a good position there. Mm -mm. <laughs> this all. is one of Mo's attempts for an assist here. It didn't work out so well. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, Coach, I got a good question for you. Either. <laughs> I, I got a question for you, Coach. Yep. How far do your memory go back when it comes to play? Like, like, the fact that you remember that, I didn't remember that happened in this game. Like, how far does your memory go back when it comes to, like, I mean, each I, team I, you I remember. I remember things from 40 years ago. I mean, without question, I can I, – you just have to put me into the – put me in the situation, and I can remember them. But I don't remember – but if I see it again, I mean, there's stuff in this game I just – when you're playing tournaments – it's hard because you don't get to watch the film as much. You're on to the next game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. DJ started his face-up game here, and they were switching a lot of stuff. And DJ started really facing up. DJ this, was killed. Uh, this tournament. Yeah, he got he got a first-round draft choice out of this tournament. The way he played, he was terrific. We the all very, the very look at that hedge. He played, look at that the, big hedge. Yeah, Mo. Yeah, his Purdue game. They were able to switch sick, everywhere. Man. Xavier gave us some good minutes. And there's a double from behind again and another turnover. Look at that no. rough through. Look at two dribbles, full court. Two dribbles, and he was three quarters. Throw it out. Chase it, right, Derek? Oh, of course. I would have got that blocked in NBA, though, for sure. That would have got blocked. Dang. We, got, got, we jumped on them early. Yeah. You didn't have much to say, guys. You guys were... It was it, it was great just to coach you because you were so locked in. His hands are still real good too. We got we got some a few wiggles up here or a few some wiggles from D. Walt coming up here. What's that surprise desert right there? Right with a foul. 
Did he call a legal screen there? Yeah. yeah, I think so. I think they call it, I think they call it traveling on me. No, oh, they called traveling on, on on somebody. Yeah, they did. Travel. Yeah. They had to stop you down. They had to stop you a little bit, you know, cool you down a little bit. Hey man, I was I was only as dangerous as y'all. Oh, were. they're going at you, Mo. There's a double from behind. Another turnover. He had four or five turnovers that game. Yeah. I remember that. Big a pop for sure. Yeah. Watch out! Watch out now. Somebody's gonna get shake. I think somebody's gonna get shaken here. No, yeah. I missed that one. Oh. I missed that one. Oh, no, it's right. coming up, I think. Well, Derek, you you have a uh, no. I, it takes one of the other games. Look at that hedge gap. They had nowhere to go. Good contest. See there. Watch Derek here. I think he'll keep something alive. It's coming up. This game was so fun, bro. This is fun. In practice uniforms? That's this like is fun. <laughs> this is fun. We are hedging. Oh, okay. Okay, that's Everybody's in gap. Everybody's in a stance. Foul underneath. Boom. Yeah, he just... goes in that Kobe kick. He's got that right <laughs> leg going out in front. <laughs> he's, uh, he's so funny. He was, he, but I mean, this was, a, I mean, it was, it was tough for Illinois because they were, they were really on the bubble. They needed to win. Usually we don't do this till we win a championship. I knew for a fact something special was about to happen when we came back and beat Purdue. We had no business winning that game. Like after we won that game, I was like, "Some, some, like this is not even in our control. Like we's not supposed to win that game at all." This is cool. This is the uh, the last minute and the overtime against Purdue. Look at him sitting on the bench, Duncan and Mo, late in the game. What the heck? Two great NBA players, and they're on the bench. What do I know? Oh, we're playing defense. That's why. We're trying to this follow. is the this is the so called special team. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they're trying to foul, and the, the the kid Thompson there misses one. He never misses. That's a little, yeah. I'm telling you, yeah. something was crazy it, happening in this game, man. Yep. Zach about to go last possession. Uh -huh. Oh, like a Ooh. rocket pit. We call the mm -hmm. rocket, rocket pistol. pistol. Right. That's tough. Mo just right opened it up, and there we go. Oh, look at that! Oh, I can't believe they didn't let us get that. Because of the timeout, oh, right? They it goes the timeout. It. We they almost cheated. But they Muhammad, cheated. Muhammad missed the layup. <laughs> oh, they should. That was crazy. That would have been a crazy chain of events if that yeah. happened in real time. Muhammad is so sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> he would do that from time to time. He was more crafty than I ever gave him credit for. Now, like when I watched him hit senior, I was like, "That's one of my favorite teammates that I've ever played with." Because yeah, the, the dude doesn't crazy. make any mistakes. Mm -hmm. Like. That's just one way to describe. He like he does everything the right way. His senior, his senior year, he had like a ten to one assist turnover ratio. It was, it was sick. Like a hundred and I forget what it was. And usually I remember it. Like one hundred sixty assists, and I don't know. And he, he oh oh my god! Yeah. Thanks, DJ. Appreciate you. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. Wow. He didn't even notice it. Xavier did. Dave, Xavier did a really good job spelling you, Derek, in this tournament. He gave you just because you, you played, you played a lot of minutes. Count the overtime. There was a lot of minutes that you were in this game. Carson Edwards. Carson Edwards. Straight up, straight down. Ooh, I think they here we go into overtime. Oh, I remember this. I think I fouled Swanigan out on that. They call a foul on the head. Yeah. And he was so mad. He was pissed. We did right a lot here? of isolation here. We were trying to isolate that as much as we could. Look at this move. This guy. Oh, my God. He was making play at the play this game, man. Him and DJ, the reason we won this game for sure. Whenever we saw a certain matchup. Yeah. yeah, that was the perfect matchup game. Yeah. We had beaten them early that year. That's right. Yeah. Zach was great in that one, too. Did you miss one? I'm pretty sure he split on this one, right? Yeah, 26. Yeah, he, missed, <laughs> he was killing. 
Holy. DJ played unbelievable that tournament. Every, you know, everybody had their moments in this tournament that just made it, mm -hmm. made it special for us. And also, Matthias missed two point blank threes coming up, guys. That 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 helped us as well, but we deserved it. Travel. That's okay. He can miss those. That's fine. <laughs> What's this right here? The high road go. High road go. There you go. I'm telling you, he was making crazy plays. Yep. This is crazy. Duncan's chasing all over the place here, Dunk. D DJ really, DJ was maybe came in, he started coming in at this point. So there's one by, by Matthias, he misses. And now we got possession. There goes. But DJ oh, no. came, in, came in. Mo, I don't know if you're in foul trouble or DJ was playing a lot of center. We play, uh, so I remember with Purdue, what you were saying with the matchup, like Isaac Haas isn't in this game either. Yeah, yeah. DJ was just killing. It was just such a good matchup for us that year. Yeah. It was either me or DJ because they played the two big fellas yeah. who was able to attack. In the first game was me, in the second game it was DJ. So it just made, I mean, yeah. I remember that. <sighs> See, that's right. See the gang rebound there? Great play by Thompson. And to be on the bench now is like the worst thing ever. <laughs> oh my God. Watch Zach. Poor Zach gets lost right here, guys. We're down three. Zach's oh lost. my <laughs> God. How about that? Look at that rebound. There we go. I think I follow him out right here. He's going to be so mad. Yeah. They're going to hedge. It's sort of a 50 50 call. Mm -hmm. but, um, we'll take, take it. it. Exactly, we'll take it, but every everybody know play basketball, you don't call that in this situation. Well, you've been very nice. I think it was maybe the best call that's ever been made. Oh, I'm always for the – we won. It, we, it was in our favor, so I'm for the call. But I know if this against us or if that's against Mo, I'm going to be – oh. Wow. Yeah. That is – Oh, he fouled out like that. Oh, that's a bad one. I don't know if that's worse than getting a, like a ticky-tack in the backcourt. I don't know which one is worse. You shot. I don't know if you missed a foul shot in this whole tournament. Oh no! I feel like if everybody knew I needed the ball, there was no way I could miss him. Look at Zach. Nobody. Yeah. you had an unbelievable season that year. I remember once we lost at, at uh, East Lance in his East Lansing at Michigan State after that game. Bro, you know what's really crazy about all that stuff? I really didn't get the chance to, like, really hone the rivalry until, like, because every time we played them, like, my freshman year, our team was extremely stacked. So, like, I was, like, I mean, I was a role player that year. I was the point guard, but I was technically a role player. It was a lot of players like that. Then my sophomore year, we was hurt. Then my junior year, it wasn't the same. But, like, my senior year, I feel like that was the, the first real year I had control over, like, the actual in-state rivalry, and I was so mad we lost up there, bro. I was so mad. I was pissed. So when they came to us, we had to make sure we won convincingly. And we did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we definitely won convincingly. Oh, we missed both. He makes it. It's never over against Purdue. Of course, he does. Of course so well, Coach. But Duncan's going to Duncan's gonna put a lid on it. They almost ruined my senior night like this. I remember this. We was up like 20 and they came back on, on senior night. Amazing. That's all she wrote. <laughs> I was about to get fun now. On to the semis. This was the only good game I had.
we were way up. We were way up in this game too. I think we and came up. Fire! They came back. What's this play right here, Coach? That's that's a uh, double. Yeah, a double spider. I might have hit a midi right here. I remember this. I fan him off. I shoot. I remember this. Yeah, what? Watch out. Slip. I stole that from Trey. I thought that was so good when Trey used to do that. Mm -hmm. so you were this this game is when you just took this tournament over in your own hands. Yeah, I mean this was ridiculous. It was also interesting to watch because Ewald, in my opinion, had deserved the um point guard first team of the of the year of that season and Nate Mason got it. Nothing yeah. against Nate Mason at all, but for me it was like I was like unfortunate that my point guy didn't get it. So this was <laughs> awesome to watch. <laughs> you were really look at Fred. <laughs> you were really jumping in on two and, and the off and letting that ball like almost like James Harden a little bit, let it roll in your hand and then just mm -hmm. up. I was I used to be so nervous to take those shots. When you gave me the green light to just start shooting those shots, hey, it just changed hey. everything. What do you mean when you gave me? You had the green light from the time you came in. You just wouldn't take it. Uh, that's true, too. Don't tell me when I gave it to you. I gave true. it to you the minute you walked into the program. Look at that one, Mo. Look at that one. Yep. You should have had 30 here, but Zach didn't pass the ball to you to get oh, the ball. Watch this. <laughs> I remember that. I was so mad. Look, watch the, the bench is crazy. The bench is oh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that hey, was crazy. Moise, you know what's so crazy about how life works? This very game, I remember telling Zach, like, yo, Z, look, I think I'm close to getting 30. If the ball stops, like, it's getting to a foul situation, just give me the ball. I just want to get 30. I don't want nothing else. He, one time, he looked me off. I said, okay. The very next game, I, like, stole it out of the gap, and I think somebody threw it ahead to me. And I let it bounce, and I heard him like, D, D, D. And I just laid it up. I was like, that's payback right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that vividly. Oh, that's payback. Was, what is this? I think we run in a – We remember we run in Surprise Desert to the other side. Let's mm -hmm. scream, Mo. Our little pick and roll here. I think. No, no ISO. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. Uh-oh. That will do it. Oh. Still, they were right there. They were explosive. Crazy. I was teammates with Amir this year. I was like, bro, I can't believe we almost lost that game to y'all. Coach B had one of his best timeouts of all time. I remember that. When, the, when they made a comeback, he was oh, like, yeah. he took, just took the board away and said, hey, relax, all right? We're not going to draw a play. Just look at each other. We'll figure it out, all right? I yeah, I remember that timeout too. It wasn't about X's and O's at all. Look at that diamond. That's an M1 too, by the way. That puts up by nine. That pretty much put it away, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Little one hand snap. Dang, this was fun, bro. This was fun. <laughs> we play a hey, Mo. Remember the game we played y'all this year uh, in DC? I think you were. No, I don't. I think you. Uh, you might have been hurt. You might have been hurt. I walked no, into I this. I played. I played. This the the guy that was working there walked up to me. He was like, "Yeah, I remember you." Cause we remember this is uh <laughs> this is at y'all gym. Yeah, I know. Yeah, bro. I can't believe I missed that. Yeah. This is like the first time in my. That was probably one of the only times that I played the four. Look at you <laughs> playing the five. I, I'm in the corner. Yeah, you, that's right. We, we All matchups. Whoever was guarded by the big fella is playing the five. Here. Yeah, look at that. Look at, it's a five-point game with one to go, guys. I think they, they make it three. Yeah, it just oh. – Oh, it hit me. But it – oh, I think well, they come down and make it. And we, we got to inbound the ball and send you send you the line. Fouled the wrong guy. He was harassing me. How would you foul there? Yeah, that was it after this. That's so – Never mind. <laughs> a lot of the stuff that I do still to this day is deeply rude. Like, my dad used to be, like, he was crazy about free throws, like, ever since I was little. So, like, even still, like, to this very day, if I miss a free throw, he would call me. So, like, I just didn't want to hear his mouth. Honestly, that's what it really was. Every time. He would just be on me. 
on to the championship. championship game was really, you know, they made it one at half and we couldn't get away from them. And then <clears throat> guys got away from them. Hey coach, I think I remember one play of this, this game that probably was like my, the, the, my best pass I ever passed. I think in my own standard, just based off like the situation, it was like a slow break. And like, Skip I this. think I, I slipped, I like oh, slipped, like no uh -oh. Weezy slipped. Ooh, you remember that Weezy this game where you slipped? Like in the second half? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna see it. It's it's on, it's great. It's yeah, 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 it's on this video. Mm. Mm, there we go. There we go, Weezy. Wisconsin is so hard to play. <laughs> oh my god. It's not even who it's it doesn't even matter who you guard, even though Ethan Half is unbelievable, but it's like they make you guard twenty nine and a half seconds and then they'll probably get an offensive rebound too. <laughs> if you started doubling Ethan like and tried to do it all game, he'd kill you. You you have to like change it up. Look at DJ coming off a little hand back. Just knocking it in. Mm. What about that? What about that? I don't think I had score yet. I was like, yo, it's time for me to start. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Uh -oh. Wisconsin. I never this is Wisconsin. Was, Show Walter, Kendrick, they're all just. They can all shoot. I still remember the end of the half. They, they hit what they're going to hit one here, but there's. Bronson Kendrick. Mohammed, like, like, I'm like, what do you else you think he's about to do? Somebody, who, I think it's either Zach or Mohammed. I'm like, what else you think Kendrick's about to do? He's about to left hand Hezzy and shoot it. We said no Hezzy freeze for Branson Kendrick. I remember that. Coach Donna was so mad going to. <laughs> it's like, bro, what else? Like, we told you that's what he was going to do. This is tough. We are up. Then now that that is Wisconsin stop. You know they do that all the time. That's taking it right back. What you do so well. We had Sadi, Billy Donlin, and Jeff Meyer, three assistants, uh, did a great job for us that that year. There's it. That leg out in between by Zach. But three. We had great staff. Tom Wyrod to John Sanderson. We had you guys in great shape to play for four games. That was really good. Uh, it's, so, it. it's so crazy because they plug – like, each year they get this – like, they just plug new dudes in and they yeah, still be effective. Right. They do the same stuff every year. Man. It don't matter who's there. They don't help. Yeah. Chase every screen. I get the most anxiety when I play them because I feel like they just make you think about so uh -oh, much other uh -oh, stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we need to back to that. I can do that, too. <laughs> Getting some work done. <laughs> That's tough. You remember, Coach, when we were in Wisconsin and we were like arguing in the, as the whole team how to guard Nigel Hayes back down post ups, like when yeah. to double him, when not to double yeah. him. We couldn't figure it out. They're, they're, so they work with everybody and posting up, and it's really. Uh, uh oh, no. Oh, this is it? No. No, you, it's the second half. You're going to. Look at that share. We just really passed it. You guys were playing. You just wanted to win. You, nobody cared about anything else but winning. And as a result, you did that all night. Nobody was like, oh, I got to get mine. It, it's a rendition of the swing offense. Oh, my God. Look at that. Great job, Weezy. Great job, Weezy. He got you with your own stuff. Great step up. <laughs> Sorry, Coach, I interrupted you. No, that's okay. Oh, you just – they're the team that you you ever leave them open. They just never seem to miss. All right, we're faking. We're we're half to. We're scratching halfway. He's still too good. In the NBA, that stuff doesn't work though. I must say. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. College, you can't foul. Oh, I thought. This, okay. This is making no, sense. that's how I mean this. Like in college, you can't foul. You can't be physical at all because it's a foul right away. Look at that. Same. I'm just getting schooled here. <laughs> like nowadays, if that would happen to me, I would like hit him one time as hard as I could. 
That's how the first half ended. We played as well as we can play. We're up one. And, we, and this is four games in four nights. And a plane oh. crash. We just here we, here we go, yeah, there's a little slip. What a catch in a crowd. Hey, hey what were those called? Gamecocks, right? Mm -hmm. That was uh, over and over the Gamecocks. Oh, I think I hit a – who was this play, man? I used to love this play. Pick and pop. Midi. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It's – I mean, I don't know how D-Wolf sees it, but for me, like, it was mental. You can't – because you're so much, you're so fatigued. Like your legs are, like you're not even really warming up. Like you're just saving it all for, mm -hmm. for the games because you're so fatigued. Mm -hmm. um, that's incredible by Duncan, by the way. Yeah, uh, it, was like it. it was just the start of him being a, becoming a really good defensive player. <laughs> um, it's it's. I mean, for me, it was all mental. Just like eyes closed and somehow push through it. You know. Yeah, Those I would say the same. I would say the same, Weezy. Because it was like, I think at this point, you just rolling like this point. Like, you're not even thinking about it. You're just trying to just – for me, it was just like, I was just trying to make sure we win. Like, I wasn't thinking about being tired. It was kind of like, I'm just rolling. I'm just trying to make sure we get this thing done. Like, we already here. We might as well just finish the job. This is a crazy man. I don't want to play four games in four days and then lose the fourth one. That's yeah. like the worst possible scenario. I, I can't – that shot going in. I knew we were – Oh, oh that pass, 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 elite that's pass right there. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you. All was bouncing our way, guys, too. But we did, like I said, we deserved it. We deserved I'm, it. I'm telling y'all, the play where I get Zach back is going to be right here. It's going to be so funny, too. It's so funny. I'm like right in the left gap, like his left gap. And I like fake at it and do lose it, but they throw it over my head. It's so funny. It's so funny because you hear, you're going to see him clapping for it. <laughs> oh, this is the one. Six points. Oh my God! Man. That was the one. That was the one that hurt him. Way down. Oh too. my Back God! At the end. Mm -hmm. That's like one. Of the, that's a typical Zach Irvin shot right there. Man, he was. He was just had a great, great tournament. Had a great season. They weren't going away, guys. There we go. We got to ten. Now it's back to seven. DJ's defense, bro. Yeah. This is on the glass. He still said that was four. <laughs> It was on the glass. Back to seven again. That dude was killer. There's a play right there. Derek, you called it. I did not call it. You called it out of the foul shot. We came down and ran it. That, that, and I thought that was the backbreaker right there. Put us up by seven. Now we get another DJ is, out here. I remember that. DJ was catching everything that game. Yep. But that was such a hard, difficult shot right there. Now we get some run outs. We get a Muhammad's. I don't know if it was his only dunk. I don't know if he, had, if he had any other during his career. Well, how we got bounced, though? People don't know that. <sighs> and DJ's about to do a windmill layup. Here, go right here. Here, go right here. Look, look, look. Watch, this. Watch that. Watch that. Watch that. <laughs> <laughs> and you knew you were going to get you, – oh, yeah. you, you thought you were going to get 30 or what? No, no, that was just me. That was internalizing me getting him back. Yeah, yeah. You weren't going to – you didn't worry about the assist at one time. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. That was the time I needed a point. A tremendous amount of tournament experience, including this guy, Koenig. Look at that this, Watch this. Watch this. Out. This is my favorite DJ Wilson play of all time. <laughs> <laughs> a 360 layup. Or <laughs> a windmill layup. Now, at this very moment, bro, it felt like I just had won everything. Like, I was, like, on the verge of tears. It's, it felt crazy. This felt crazy. Oh, no. As good as it gets, guys.
And remember, it was a strong Michigan crowd, too. Really strong. That Indiana game we played against Oklahoma State and played at Bankers. Crazy. Crazy. The year before? No, no, no. The, the, that same year. Remember, we ended up drawing Oklahoma State as the first game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After this. I yeah. think that, that was what was – you go through these four, and now after this we play Oklahoma State and then Louisville, where these two guys had just incredible games in those games. And uh, we didn't stop. You win these four in a row, you think, oh, well, you know, all right, that was a run. And then Oregon, I mean, we played three – High level teams, and we were the we better team be two or three better. times. Yeah, yeah, and or Oregon, you know, the few shots dropped for them. Yeah, I remember after that game, like, even though I had missed that shot, it still felt like we still had another game. Like, it never felt like it was over. It, I did never set in that it was over. And coach, I remember you, I, coach, coach, I remember you fixing my hat multiple times during the ceremony. <laughs> 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 this was dope. You guys earned that trophy. I want to put it in your hands right away. You earned it. That was dope, man. That was like the first time winning anything for me in Michigan. That was that was dope. Yeah. Remember your mom being in the stands too. She was there the whole time, remember? Yep. Yep. That was weird too when we had crashed uh or had this accident. I called her right after and the signal was bad and all she heard was plane crash. So <laughs> I, had to take scared, her, I had to text her after that we all okay and stuff because the connection was so bad. On the, the this is so fun, man. Like everybody, family being on the court, that was dope to me. Like everybody running to their parents and hugging. Yeah. Hey, look how young X was on here. Yeah. This team was deep. It's a crazy thing that Duncan was the sixth man on this team. Yeah. That is wild. So we had great leadership. We had seniors that time. You, you, between you and Zach and just everybody, just uh, Mark Donnell, everybody really, uh, we're, there were special people that cared about the team first. But it was an incredible five days. There's no question about it. Man. And one of the best things now is to go in and watch where your seat is, right? To go yeah. Eat right there. Oh, yeah. That's our family lounge now with the wizard. <laughs> oh, yeah, is it? Yeah, yeah, every time I walk into that room, I'm like, yeah, I, uh, we watch the, the show here, the, uh, the selection show. <laughs> Dang, man. That was dope. That was dope. For me, that gave me, like, enough time to like really consider like make myself NBA player for the most part it was just like the window was like the time was going out of the, the little hourglass it was like some time for me to make something happen and like that just gave me like a huge platform and it just like it gave me opportunities to this very day so like that was that was a big weekend or a week four or five days for me for sure um yeah going along those lines I mean for me, it was more like life-wise. First of all, I'm always putting on the seat, the, the the belt now in the in the plane. That's for sure, because that's something you don't think about, right? Like when you go on a normal commercial plane, you don't ever think of that stuff, and you just take it for granted. And um, I always do that now, and I'm conscious of where I'm sitting in the plane and all that stuff. Um, that's one thing. And then the second thing is just like not taking stuff for granted. Um, because you you literally right there at the brink of, yeah, I mean, whatever happens to you, but like, kind of your life passes by. You like, okay, I mean, I ran, for, I literally ran for three minutes, not turning around because I thought a plane is going to explode behind me. Like, that does something to you. And for me, um, it's not taking anything for granted that my family was there that I can do this, um, kind of, that I can be healthy and that I have so much fun doing this stuff with the, with the people I do it with. So um, there's just a greater appreciation for everything. I think you always remember the stuff that you had to go through. And this team, like my freshman year team, I'm still close with a lot of guys on that team because we did something special. But like this team was a lot different for me just based on 
the personality, it was like from one through 15, it was kind of just like, there was nobody that ever thought they was above anybody. You know what I mean? Like everybody just, we were just like a, a real family. Like, of course we got mad at each other. Uh, me, of course, me, I always got mad at Mo. What I've experienced so far, like, going to LA and then now here in DC too, you're always part of a team, but once you turn professional, it's, it's a whole different vibe about it. And when, when you, when you, when you play in college, you don't recognize that, that urgency that you wish you had now more because you, you don't realize, okay, you're never going to have this again. So it's, it's, it's funny to me because it's four years for me, it's three years. It's basically nothing, man. It's like you all said. It's basically his th that when it made click was basically from January till March. That's basically two months that had such a huge impact on his life, and that's how I feel about my three years in college in general, um, especially the last two years with those two teams. I, I think with me, it it, it really uh, it showed you what a team can do when they put everything into perspective. And just, it was all about the team. But each individual had great confidence. We gave it to each other. And it, 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 it wasn't, uh, you know, there was times that each, each guy stepped up and went one-on-one -on -one because he knew that's what his team wanted him to do. Not that he wanted to do it. He knew his team wanted him to do it. And I think that was, that was really obvious. I think we would have beat any team in the country on those four nights because the Big Ten was really good. I don't care who would have came in there. And, and we were we, we were a shot or two away from going to the Final Four again because uh, that was a talented team that played together. <laughs> and so, you guys, all right, thanks, everybody. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right, guys. Go Blue.